Good afternoon guys. I have headed back up into London again today and I've left Raya working on a video back in Walton. Um, I am going to see Josh Record. We're going out for a coffee. I haven't seen him for ages so I'm excited to do that. And then this evening I am going to uh, a show that I think James Corden's going to be there. I know that. And it's linked with uh, Brandcast, which I think is a week where YouTube are pitching to advertisers and doing different events and stuff. Anyway, I received an invitation. Uh, it's at the uh, Excel Centre in East London, so I really don't know what to expect, but I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Alright, we're meeting at the Scooter Cafe. Oh. How you doing, bro? I like this place, they have a pet cat. That was very short but sweet seeing Josh, bro. Away again. I know we need to plan some stuff um, we will this is like we're just saying this is kind of like halfway through catching up and we just had to press pause and we're gonna like hang out for an entire day to catch up probably because <laughs> it's just been too long but see yeah see you later mate So they didn't take as long as I thought to drive here, which is nice. I've arrived an hour before the official event starts, but they said people could come for drinks and stuff before that. Um, I also looked online and um, the people that were selected for the Made For You campaign, I don't know if you've seen them in London, all over the billboards and bus stops and buses and cinemas and stuff. So I think that was like Casper, Louise, Marcus, Ollie and some other people. They are here. I guess involved with this Brandcast event. So I'm gonna try and find them. Oh, here we go. That's helpful. Well, that's lucky that I found something to eat. Mm. Do you ever get those times where you go into events or parties and there's no food there and then you're like, oh, I should have eaten before I went in. I thought ahead. I've arrived. Let's go and find some people. Okay, we're walking into the main auditorium. I bumped into Marcus. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. How are you? How come you're not up on stage with the other guys? I don't know, really. Uh, Can you have uh, just, uh, yeah, like, Have you seen Marcus on the double decker buses and night yeah. tube stops and stuff? <laughs> In your face everywhere. No, I don't know. I don't think everyone's doing it. Oh, right. Um, I think Ollie's. I just messaged Ollie, he's backstage. Is Casper there? Casper's there. Maybe Casper. Uh, so in a moment I'll look at Joe. Isn't he pretty? Yes, Louise. Please welcome to the stage, James Corden. British response I've ever heard. You can tell I've been in America where people go, yeah! How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Uh, the best and the brightest of YouTube and Google are here in this room and backstage, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube's changed everything. It's changed the way we share things, the connection we share with people, who we watch, and when we watch them. Personally, for me, this past 18 months of my life, YouTube has become a far bigger part of my everyday than I ever thought it would. I host a television show called The Late Late Show that airs in America and I know that sounds like it's kind of cool until you hear that that show that I was asked to host airs at 12.35 a.m. every night. YouTube, where the beam is sorry, Adele says hi and the hot lights blink. YouTube, where a brilliant brave and your crazy guys will do anything. Smoky eye and even put up your hair. YouTube, 
Where cats would flog becomes an everyday thing I feel you so, the dead of Phil They really are amazing It's YouTube, YouTube, YouTube Your reason to live Where yes, YouTube loves being on TV, and as James showed you, T. <laughs> my passion became my day job. My dreams became my reality. My fiction became my fact. TV adverts flash around the world, billboard shows the seeds that I have planted. The seeds that I have planted and started to grow branches. Stage appearance. It was so awkward. I, I love it. Off. It was so good. Yeah. Phil just told me that he hasn't even rehearsed, so he was just copying Dan's dance moves. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Grandmaster Flash has just got on the decks. My ears are ringing guys and I feel like I can barely talk because I was trying to network in that after party. Oh, met some really cool people. Um, wow, what a great evening. What an amazing show, I was not expecting that. I, to be honest, didn't really know what to expect. And, um, oh, I think I'm over here. Yeah, uh, it's great to see what YouTube's doing and achieving and the way it's connecting with big brands and I don't know, it's just such an amazing platform, isn't it? It's kind of mad when you're trying to wrap your head around it all. But there's so many cool creators there tonight, it's good to catch up with a few of them. I think I'm gonna try and um, squeeze in as I usually do, and I'm back in the UK, try and squeeze in as many little coffee catch-ups with people as possible. Um, didn't get to meet James Corden, but you know, he's a busy guy. Um, and uh, I'm sure I'll get a chance one day. Absolute legend. Killed it tonight. Right, I'm back. I'm about to head to bed, but guys, the whole way home, my head was just buzzing with thoughts and ideas and just potential. Um, I think just meeting, inspiring people and seeing the potential of big things happening, um, don't know, just gets my, my thoughts firing and just realizing I could dream bigger than I currently am and there's there's so much to do, there's so much to achieve and yeah, I don't know. It's 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 good to hang out with people that are doing bigger things, you know, than you are because it I don't know, for me it it definitely motivates me when I'm surrounded by people that are driven and dream big and are succeeding in so many ways, whatever your view of success is. Um, yeah, it's cool, it's a good thing. So yeah, um, watch this space. Um, yeah, I feel very I feel very good, but I also feel very tired because in total today, I think I've been driving probably about three hours on the road today, just driving around and um, yeah, driving can be tiring sometimes, so I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.